Civilization VI, probably the most recognizable modern strategy game there is. And I, Super Red Star, will be showing you my first attempt in this glorious game. Now watch as I turn a civilization with sticks and stones into a global contender. For this video I chose the incredible Queen Victoria, who will lead the Great British Empire to victory against all other nations. After choosing the grand location of my first city, I came to the realization that I chose the one spot where I couldn't get any resources. Fortunately, I was able to research sailing before I got my first builder, so I can get some resources. Whilst I was doing all that, the French decided to destroy themselves. Well, must have been their first time too. After spending a long time building ships, as it was the only thing I could do, I saw that I was far too weak to take on anybody else in this world, so I made the grand maneuver, starting a new game. I think I'll just settle here and try to forget about the last game. The first thing we need to do is wipe out the barbarian scum. Well, that didn't go too well. Well, my unit's dead now. Ooh, look, a person I'm totally going to invade later. Oh, hey, Arabia. Don't worry, you'll be safe. Until I want your land. I have managed to settle a second city, which means this is already going better than my last run. After chasing this scout down, I finally claimed my first barbarian victim. Oh, well now they're invading my land. Fortunately, that's an issue that money can solve. On the next turn, my archers wipe them out. Well, looks like the ancient era is over. Now I'll focus on some industry. This campus will be an important step in making a better industry, as I'll need to research better forms of production. I've been at war with these barbarians for thousands of years, so I may as well build a wall to keep them out. Japan started to complain about my newest settlement being too close, but they're not important enough to care, so I just ignored them. We may be entering a new era, but the focus of my civilization will not change. Hey, look at that, the First World Congress has finally arrived. Somehow, I didn't learn about the existence of any other nations. After doing some exploring, I met the egotistical France, who might be the first to be humbled. I also met another potential victim known as Norway. I told you the French would be the first to be humbled, as Maya has now taken Paris. I'll see what I can do to help. Well, looks like I was the only one who wanted to help, so France is doomed. Yep, there was nothing I could do to save them, but I can try and get some revenge. Listen, Norway, if you get in the way, I'm gonna have to kill you. Well, I can't get my troops past Norway, so he's gonna have to die. I was probably gonna kill him anyway, but it's just happening a lot sooner than expected. After throwing lots of rocks at Bergen's walls, I finally took the city. I think I'll burn this one. Stavanger was the next to fall. I think I'll keep this city. It seems like people are unhappy with my war in Norway. In other words, they just can't accept my people are better than theirs. And I proved that by taking Norway's capital. I'm not really sorry Norway, you didn't put up much of a fight, so this was bound to happen. Japan was one of those countries that decided to declare war on me. So I decided to make an example out of them by trying to take the closest city. Well, they've now built a wall, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. You're lucky I'm new to this game, Japan. If I was a better player, you would have lost your city. I was still at war with Maya from when I agreed to help the French, so I started my invasion. Oh, it seems it's going pretty well, we're making some progress. Unfortunately, Maya is one of the most powerful nations in the game, so they didn't have many problems taking out some of my units. Yep, the only thing they can't seem to kill is my boat. I guess to avoid the consequences of my own actions, we will have peace. Whilst they may not be at war, I'm still having to kill some barbarians. Japan, you may have gone off easy last time, but now my entire army is coming for you. Unfortunately, each cannon shot does a very small amount of damage to their walls. Fortunately, I have plenty of bulls to throw around. Now that my ships are here, I can do even more damage to the wall. I've been attacking the city for quite a while, but I'm getting close to breaking the wall. This has taken me so long that I now have planes. But after I destroyed the walls, it wasn't long until I took the city. I then started my attack on Tokyo, but it didn't go very well. Well, seems like they wanted to claim me a target again, that's a big no. As I can't seem to get any further into Japan's territory, we'll have peace. For now. I then immediately decided to make an alliance with the only person who still likes me. It seems that I'm doing so well that we've entered the Golden Age. I finally got the opportunity to use my planes, and they're pretty good. 
Well, it's time to go to war with Maya again. The war started off very well. I was able to attack their newest city, which didn't have any walls, which meant it was easy to take it over and keep it for myself. I don't know why, but after I took that city, they tried to declare me a target again. It seems like the rest of the world couldn't figure it out either. Hmm, the city I just took revolted. It may have taken me an hour, but I eventually crushed the rebellion. And then I burned the treacherous city. Unfortunately, I didn't bring enough resources to take any cities, as I couldn't break any of the walls. So I decided to sign peace to avoid the consequences, again. Well, Arabia, the time's come. I want your land now. To be fair, they should have seen this coming, because I was able to tip the capital in two turns. Looks like they finally passed that bill against me. But fortunately, most of them aren't strong enough to do anything about me anyway. Yep, still taking over Arabia without much resistance. I have a feeling Arabia is going to be gone in a few turns. Like I said, after 15 minutes, I owned all that was once the land of Arabia. Now let's bomb Japan. Unlike when I last attacked Japan, this is more efficient and less units are dying. The difference in strength is shown by how fast I took Tokyo. It's nice to see my focus in technology pay off. And it feels even better that I'm able to annihilate Japan, who's been a thorn in my side, without much trouble. It turned out that my country was so incredible, that when the future era came, we entered a heroic age. And because we entered the future era, we got a free giant death robot. The only unfortunate thing is that it could not reach Japan's final city in time to deal the final blow. Oh uh, yeah, and I just launched a rocket that's going to Mars. My people truly are the greatest this world has to offer. Now it's time to go take over the entire continent. And after a little bit of bloodshed, I'm now close enough to attack the Mayans. When they saw me coming, one of their cities decided they wanted to be on my side of history. Ah, there goes the Exoplanet Expedition. A true show of our superiority. Now let's obliterate some Mayans. Just know that whilst all this bloodshed is going on, I'm speeding up my final science project. If there's any city you hate, you can just crush them. Assuming you have a giant death robot. You know, there's something relaxing about just walking in and taking everything they own. We're getting near the end of the game and I have several nukes I haven't used. So I thought the best place to test them would be Paris. So I sat back, drank a cup of tea and watched the fireworks. That might have made the entire place radioactive. But it was worth it. Now let's send in the big robot just to make sure. Sometimes it's nice just to sit back and see how much of the continent I've taken over. But before I could finish conquering the entire continent, the game decided that I was a scientific marvel worthy of victory. Well there you go, there was my second game of Civilization 6. If you want to see me conquer the rest of the world, hit the like button and subscribe. It'll let me know that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. But for now, that's all I have, so I'll see you in the next video.